I took Professor White's um, materials class in the spring of my sophomore year, and I thought it was really interesting to learn that concrete is the second most used material after water, and that it is associated with a lot of carbon dioxide emissions and a lot of other environmental challenges like mining. And I always had an interest in environmental issues like from high school, and that's why I chose to be a civil and environmental engineering major. So I think her class really spoke to me because it had such a direct connection to the environment um, through a really interesting civil engineering material. My name is Lindsay Conlon and I'm class of 2018, so I'll be a senior in the fall and I'm in the civil and environmental engineering department. I applied for Anlinger Center funding during the spring. Um, Claire White is going to be my thesis advisor, so this is the start of my senior thesis work. And I'm looking at recycled concrete aggregate, so I'm trying a new treatment method using acid that comes from acid mine drainage, which is really prevalent in Pennsylvania and a big environmental problem, to hopefully treat recycled concrete aggregates that can be reused for structural purposes. Concrete is made from four different materials. There's coarse aggregate, which is gravel, fine aggregate, which is basically sand, um, OPC, which is ordinary Portland cement, and water. And the water and the OPC combine together to make a glue to hold the other materials together, and that's what gives concrete its strength. This is traditional concrete. My idea is to change this life cycle of concrete, which is currently linear. We use concrete when it's done, uh, we crush it up and then often use it as road grading. And from there, its life cycle ends. But if we were able to do an acid treatment on the aggregate to be able to release it from the paste again, you would be able to use it again for structural purposes like it had been originally, and you'd create a circular life cycle instead of a linear one.